Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, despite the beautiful weather, we're off to the airport to pick up a special package from Nick's Aquarium in Queensland. Alright, thanks for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. Today I've taken a day off work and I'm headed to the airport because um, my good friend Nick, who I did a uh, frag stock event at his store way back, feels like a, an eternity ago, but it was a couple of years ago. Um, we've been good friends ever since. Nick and his beautiful wife Ashton have just had this most gorgeous little baby girl, Fletcher. And for some reason, despite them having the baby, they've been kind enough to send me a gift for my dream reef tank. So. Um, Huge shout out to Nick and Ashton for this uh, very special pleasure. I have absolutely no idea what it is yet. Um, Nick's been teasing me, telling me that it's coral, and he tells me it's fish, then he tells me it's something else. I got no idea what it is, but uh, we're gonna go to the airport, pick it up. Thought I might as well bring, bring the camera, take you guys along for the ride, and we'll see what uh, treasure Nick has sent us for the green reef tank. All right, so this is the journey here. It's only a bit over an hour, but uh, I guess the weather probably made it feel a little bit longer than it was, but. What else would you do other than go to the airport with uh, your lovely wife here to pick up a surprise piece of coral or fish? And uh, my wife's doing her best job here to uh, open up the package as quickly as possible, but uh, she's doing a fantastic job of just really increasing that uh, anticipation now and also making me terrified that uh, one of us is going to get stabbed by the <laughs> pocket knife here. But uh, thankfully, oh, that was close. Um, we're going to live the, tell the story because uh, here I am doing a voiceover of this recording now. Let's see what's inside the box. Or cold pack, cold pack, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's just more packing here. It'll be inside the black bag. It's a hammer or a torch. Looks like a gold torch, I think. <laughs> have to get it under some blue light to tell for sure. All right, so after spending a couple minutes of guessing what the coral was, we figured it was probably best just to jump in the car, drive home, get this coral uh, qu uh, checked and dipped and get it into the tank so we can really have a look at it. So I grabbed out my Coral Dip Revive I then uh, fill up my little container with uh, 3.8 litres of uh, salt water with three and a half caps is what I run of the uh, Revive Coral Dip. I then get my turkey baster and just uh, give a little swoosh around the coral. I also give it a good visual inspection, which we'll see here in a second, which is basically just what I like to do, just to make sure. I know Nick has very good pest-free corals, but take no offense, Nick, I dip everything just to be sure. You can see a few, uh, I'm pretty sure the amphipods coming off of there. They're not bad guys at all, but uh, it just showed that the dip is working when you see these little guys uh, scurry off and uh, have a little bit of trouble in the uh, citric acid sort of style of water. But uh, after a good inspection and a look over the coral, a little bit more of a turkey based, I'm confident that this coral is absolutely pest free and good to go into the tank. So Let's, uh, well, I'm just going to give it a little look around. It's sitting very conveniently on a large frag tile, which is going to make it easy for me for now because I'm just going to put it on the sand bed where I can keep a good close eye on it for a while and uh, make sure that uh, my fox face there doesn't nip at it due to boredom because he is the only large fish in the tank. But uh, enough of the process. Let's have a close look at this coral. I'll give you a top down. This is about an hour after it's settled into the tank. This is with white lights on, and you can see just how gold that torch is. Holy moly. 
What an absolutely stunning piece. You can see the uh, Fox Faces tail just swoosh past there. I will give you some footage front on and also I know what you guys are like. You're gonna wanna see it under blue lights because trust me, when it's this yellow under white lights, wait till you see it under blues. And uh, here it is from the front. I'm pretty sure my uh, Fox Face will swim by so you get a good comparison of the color. My Fox Face, as people have told me, is the yellowest they've ever seen. and. Um, that uh, torch holds up very nicely to it, but here it is under blue lights. And uh, this is a little bit later in the evening where I've got uh, my Philips Coral Cares, my Orfex, and my Kessels all very blue. I'll give you a quick pan around the tank while we're here just to show uh, how it sits in with some of the other corals there. Like I said, I haven't actually found a spot for it yet. I'm just sitting it there until I work out where it goes, but I'm pretty sure I need to get it somewhere near that uh, green torch. You see my uh, two little clowns up here, Pablo and Esther, are still doing well, but uh, still chilling out pretty nicely on that side of the tank. They do come out a little bit further for our feeding now, at least, and uh, they are actually growing significantly. I've got my uh, SBS pieces here, a beautiful purple piece from uh, John Sim. Thank you very much, John. Really appreciate it. Big, bright orange recordia there. This absolutely stunning gold torch, which is just going to contrast with that toxic green torch at the back there so, so nicely. Some beautiful SPS pieces that I picked up from my favorite local fish store, which happens to also be where I uh, volunteer on Saturdays at Deer Park Aquarium. A few other SPS frags that I picked up from both nature aquariums and water gardens and also Aquamarine Aquaristic. They're all doing really, really well. Check out this Rainbow Monty. It's got such an assortment of colors in there. I've got some other Montys around the corner here. There's a little chalice down there, probably getting a little bit too much light at the moment. I might have to put him into the, um, some shade somewhere. I've got a tickled pink Monty Porridge on there, a little red cap around the corner that I'm waiting for just it to really scroll around. But uh, got my little Walt Disney frag up there. All in all, all the frags are doing really, really well. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the unveiling of my surprise coral, courtesy of Nick and Ashton, all the way in Queensland from Nick's Aquarium, Oceanarium, Terrarium. These guys are the go-to shop if you're after Gold Torch. I'll give you a little picture up on screen somewhere here of some, just some of the Gold Torch they have in stock at the moment. And they've even had them spawn in their displays of recent times. So if you're chasing Gold Torch, it doesn't matter where in Australia you're from, because as you saw, this was shipped down to my uh, local airport without any problems whatsoever. A couple hours later and that torch is absolutely glowing in my tank. So. If you're in Australia and you're after one of those incredible gold torches, you know who to talk to. Head on over to Nick's Facebook page. You'll find the details in the uh, comment section or the description down below. I'll make sure you find that there because uh, you won't find better gold torch anywhere. And just as a little uh, token of appreciation for all you viewers out there, and I'll make this available worldwide, as uh, Nick's Aquarium, Oceanarium, Terrarium is a uh, platinum red sea aquarium dealer they've sent me this shirt i'm going to give away it to you guys and like i said i will ship this anywhere in the world all i'm going to ask you to do is to post the address in the comment section the address of nick's aquarium oceanarium terrarium so it's going to take a little bit of work you're going to have to look it up guys find the address post it in the comment section down below i'll give it a week and then i'll draw one of the correct answers by random i'll send this shirt out too it is an xl in size so i don't know if you're a big boy like me might be a little bit tight for the summer, but um, <laughs> see how you go. If you're a bit smaller, I don't know. I've got an XL to give away. That's where it's at. I will wrap this video up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching along and uh, sharing, the, sharing in the excitement of picking up this surprise new coral for my dream reef tank. If you've got any, co any questions, comments, feedback, anything at all, pop it in the comment section down below. I personally respond to each and every comment, so uh, don't be shy, post away down there and I'll get back to you. And last but not least, if you could smash that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. If you like to, go for it. If you don't want to, it's cool. All right, guys, we'll wrap things up there. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, keep reefing, bye.